Today, we will be playing Tales of the World Radiant Mythology. And I can't hear fuck all. Ugh. Ugh. Some days I hate PC gaming. It's some of my fucking news. Come on, check it. Uh, uh, no, 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 do that, you piece of crap. Ugh. I think the application's decided. Cancel. Uh, fuck. Okay, set as that, set as that. I'm just gonna reload the application. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're playing Tales of the World Radiant Mythology. That's the one. I played this on PSP ages ago. I uh, saw it and was like, yeah, I've got to play this again. So, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll just bit. There you go. Stay there. Stay controller. So this game has got a lot of bunch of uh, Tales characters. It's like a kind of anniversary game, I guess. Where it just kind of all mashes them all up into one game. And this game was the only one that was translated. I didn't translate the two sequels, uh, which is a little annoying. I couldn't see any fan patches for them. Uh, as far as I could tell. I might have to have a deeper search, see if I can find something. But yeah, that's the game I'm playing. Hey, oh, got that. Oh, that looks a little shaky. Okay, it looks fine in the game. Uh, options, always check the options. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Instant, instant messages. I don't know. I, uh, I wish there was an option in all RPGs. It really, oh, I hate it so much. Um, to see in text where it's like, do, 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 and you got annoying sound effects. And, uh, it's like my one of my most uh, biggest pet peeves of RPGs. Anyway, uh, did that save if I clicked an exit? Yes, cool. Uh, so that's an, another thing. We click options and it goes. Mm, no. No. Welcome to Tales of the World Radiant Mythology. In this section, you'll create a character to use. Create your character by following the instructions. First is the character's gender. Please choose a male or female character. I will go for the male. Next is the character's face. Please select a face. Uh, right. What do we like? What, f what face do I like? Do I like? Okay, so we got default. Uh, clearly antagonist. Clearly like best friend. Uh, RPG character. Um, weird little kid that's always book smart. 
Uh, emo guy who... Oh, wait, actually, this, this might be the actual true enemy. Um, they get nothing for them. Uh, what do I think will we'll be close? I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for spiky hair, I think. Yeah, let's go with spiky hair. Hair color. Uh, oh, uh, is that black or... Can I s rotate? Uh, I'm going to get that. That's kind of similar-ish to my hair. Kind of darker blonde. I am pasty as fuck. Or was that, or was that more... Is that more like Asian? No, I'm gonna go with a pinky. Please say actual your character's voice. You call that a fight? Yeah. <laughs> You're dead. I didn't think it'd be this rough. This will just take a second. This will just take a second. I'm trying to take pictures of this voice, but don't waste my time. I didn't think it'd be this rough. <laughs> You're dead. I don't like it. Nope. This one's the best one. Next is your job your character will start with. Please select a job. Hmm. Oh, I am always warrior. Yeah. No, no, no. Warrior. Massive axe. Please select a character's name. Uh, delete, 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 delete. Why is there a three? I don't get confused. Wait, okay, now it's just what, what, what character I was selected on. Uh, how do I... How do I shift? Oh, oh wait, select shift. Aha! Cool. And start is finished. Is this okay? Yeah, it'll do. I'll eventually get unlocked some trousers. That's what I'd like. I'd like to unlock some trousers, please. Can we unlock some trousers? Wake up! Your world Teresia! It's in real trouble! No, no. Wake up! No! I've got to wake up! Hello, I have woken up. With me now? You had me worried for a minute. What? Where am I? We're at the base of the world tree. It gave birth to you just now. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You say that as if that's a normal thing. My name's Mormo. What's yours? All right. Nice to meet you. My name is Bodachi. That is my name. This world is called Teresia, and you're a mm -hmm. descendant. From Teresia's world tree. Uh huh. No, no, that makes perfect sense. You're probably a little lost just being born and all. Don't worry. True. I'm here for you. I wasn't born yesterday. I was born today. See, I'm a descendant too. Not from this world, though. What, what, what world? It's called Yaoon. Yaoon! So I do some search searches on Yaoon. Make sure you do always do your searches on Yaoon. Uh, on Yaoon.com. Sorry, I'm just looking at my phone, checking if anything you think is sh important, which is generally not. Do not stab. You can get as coon sort of. Good day. Actually, wait. Do you know about descenders? See, not really. This world is... A scream? I'll explain later. Come on, let's follow that voice. Okay. Did I map? Oh, yeah. So, a little, little problem. I was like, did I map the right stick? I was like, oh wait, I'm playing a PSP game. There is no right stick. <laughs> right. Okay, oh. What are you doing? Let's follow that voice. Haha! <laughs> Come me arts. Got me unison, my equipment, my items. I have no items. Do I have any strategy? I have no strategy. I can save. 
Not safe here. Damn. Alright, let's go. Let's go find that voice. I mean, it just looks like she, he's asking her a question. Was it? Oh, hey, you don't even know what happened. I'm not evil. You're evil. Oh, shit! Oh, God damn it! The amount of times I just knock my microphone because I don't. My, my hands are just blah blah. Now where are you now? How rude! I have an axe, you know. Oh, okay. Must. Uh. Oh, there we go. Hello. There we go. Oops. When in doubt, you swing my axe. I win. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Great, I got a wooden sword. Thanks. Hey, Thanks. Okay? Who are you? I don't know. I was born. Yesterday. Oh, hello. No, no. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Just, I saved her. I'm you did nothing, mate. These people saved me. You're welcome. I'm Mormo. This here's my partner. Oh, no, no. It says Bodachi. I'm not partner. Chester. Chester Barklight. I'm sorry. That's not a name. That sounds like faked up, made up name. Ah, yes. I I am Chester Barklight, of the Barklight Dynasty. Of course. No, no, sir, sir, of course that is true. I know what you're talking about. That it makes perfect sense. Hmm. I haven't seen you two before. Are you refugees? Uh, no. No, no I was born here. Um, First spies, now refugees? What are you talking about? Well, you're not from here, are you? Where'd you come from? I was born over there. Huh? Well, in any case, you're refugees. You're lucky to make it into town in one piece. And he doesn't believe us. Can I, like, auto-text? I don't want to press start, because that normally skips this shit. Wait, so you don't remember anything? Circle? Is that... Start? Okay, start doesn't do anything. Uh... You too, huh? Nothing at all from before you got here. We'll get spotted again if we hang around here. Let's, Let's go, go home. No, no. Right. Um, I'm Kanono. Cool, you better go get some tea then. Thank you for saving me back there. I've got to get back. Always get tea. I could do some tea. Ah, I've got some. I got my sneak. If you've got nowhere else to go, look for a man named Kratos in town. Um, I'm. D I'm sorry. Who? Kratos. I gotta look for Kratos. Um. I don't think I will. Just say you're there about ad libitum. They'll understand. Yeah, yeah, no, ad libitum. Oh man, my uh, favorite. Later. I'm sure we'll meet again. Will we though? I don't want to. I don't like you. I have my fed prepped here. This place what a dick. doesn't look too good. Let's head to the town. You mean those don't look too, too good? This place is my birthplace. Get some info about this world too. Don't you know anything? You where, where did you come here? Wow, Shrillis, uh, uh, well, tree world is huge. This world is full of mana. Do you know about mana? The world tree produces mana, which gives energy to the earth and all life on it. We all share the blessing. What tea does this game suit? Um, uh, it's got to be something fruity. Because this game is colorful as fuck. It's your job to protect this world and the world tree that uh, makes it live. That's your job as a descender. It's why you were born here. Oh, that's right. I wasn't through explaining that. Descendants are the world's protectors, born from the world tree in times of need. This world is called Teresia, and you're its descender. I'm a descender from another world, Yaun. I told you that earlier, right? This world is being threatened by a terrible, earth-consuming monster. My world, Yaun, the land, its inhabitants, that thing ate them all. Everything but a tiny splinter of the world tree that held me. After all, I moved on to Teresia, looking for a next meal, I guess. I want to ask you and everyone in this world to help in beating that beast. You want my help? I was literally just born yesterday. I hated to uh, admit it, 
But I know I'm not a match for that thing alone. It's your enemy too. I'll do whatever I can to help. Anyway, let's do what we can for this place. Come on! Come on! Whoa, what's going on over there? I don't know. What is going over there? Let's pan over there. Oh, it's Evil McEvilton. Please, forgive me, Lord Ganser. <laughs> what? I'm not evil. You broke it. I don't like to give the impression that I'm evil, other than wearing my big evil hat. Ah, what do I do? What do I want to wear today? I'm going to wear the big evil today. Yes, big evil hat. That'll do. A rule breaker like you must be a spy for those outsiders after our tree. There's the outsiders. We must destroy them. No, sir. That's not true. <laughs> oh, come on, man. It's my f new favorite character, man. My my daughter is sick. I just left to gather some herbs. I'm no spy. Yeah. Go, you gotta look after a, a man's daughter. <laughs> Yes, sir. This is insane. Yeah, fuck you, mate. I am merely protecting the peace of this town from those who would steal our world tree. We're leaving. Yes, sir. Mm, hang on a minute. Can I interrupt this? Wow. People can't leave the town? That's a stupid law. Right. And what's that about other countries being after the world tree? Yeah, it's a world tree, mate. It's not your tree. It's a world tree. Hey, man. My new favorite character, man. This city's economy will be dead lo before long. Gas is simply taking more resources from the people than we can produce. Hmm. Americo. Amerigo? Hmm. That's a name. To town! I'm gonna go to the guild. Hello! A lady? I guess this isn't Kratos then, huh? My name is Rain Sage. You don't look familiar. A refugee, perhaps? Nope, I was born here. Well, not quite. Here to file a request, then? Request? No, nothing like that. We came here because Chester told us to. He said to see a man named Kratos if we had nowhere to go. Said to mention Ad Libitum. So, a prospective new recruit, then. Kratos, there's a pair of hopefuls here to see you. It's Mitsuru, I think. Yeah, from Persona 3. I think that's the same voice actress. Hey, buddy. You don't look like much of a fighter. I couldn't trust you with a job. Rude. I have an axe. So this is Kratos? Hmm. Doesn't look like Kratos. His full name is Kratos Arian. He's the leader of Ad Libitum in Ilium. Yep. Hey, what do you mean a job? What does Ad Libitum do anyway? Yeah. In terms of form, Ad Libitum exists as a sort of guild. Our purpose as an organization is to mm -hmm. protect the people from threat. Yep, 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 yep. Of course, we can't really do much out in the open. Well. Then that's a pretty shitty guild. Why not? Because you're not allowed to leave. Answer, the leader of this town has outlawed guilds. Dick. Oh yeah, we just saw him. He's a dick. Ganser controls all of the town's workings, even the How? How? Can we just tell him to not bonk him on the head? No. Vendors are disappearing, and the people are left with only what scraps Ganser's thugs leave them. We provide the people with what they need to survive. Meaning you all have a way of leaving the town? How do you do it? We can't What's tell your you. secret? Ad libitum only helps those who help the people. I'm sorry, but we can't risk alerting Ganser to our activities here. Then hey, we'll enlist. We'll join Ad Libitum. Ah, uh, what are you signing me up for? Ah. Uh. question. This isn't something you can just do on a whim. I'm prepared for the risks. Prepared, huh? You're certain then? My yes. Then I'll test your competence. 
We'll see if you have what it takes. I do indeed. Talk of Good day. Our organization comes after you've passed. Pass what? A test? What are you testing? Whether you can actually fulfill the requests of the townspeople. Fetch quests? Got it. Oh. Kanono, are you around? Kanono! There she is. Yes, sir. Oh, it's you. Please explain our organization to our guests here. Certainly. Okay, let me explain our guild, Ad Libium, in a bit more detail. Now that we no longer have voice acting for this, I'm going to explain this thing to you. There are Ad Libium chapters in every city, though ours is underground now. Our job as members of Ad Libium is to take on requests from the townspeople. By extension, we're working to preserve the peace in the world. World peace! The people of Terizia live under the constant fear of the earth-consuming beast. People who have lost their homes are left to live from day to day as refugees. Earth-consuming beast? It appears here out of the blue and keeps eating the land, even now. We call it the Devourer. It's completely different from any other, any of the world's creatures. The Devourer. I guess it's collecting names that it collects worlds. Lots of people have come here as refugees after losing their homes to it. But ever since Ganza took control, there's no getting in or out of town for anyone, refugees or otherwise. But why? Why would you make a rule like that? I know, right? Seems stupid. This town is home to the World Tree. Uh, it provides Terizia with mana, which keeps the Devourer at bay. Ganza claims other countries are after the tree and that we shouldn't let them in. Everyone's scared and upset by the accusations he slings and the way he's closed the town off. I'll bet it looks like the people that are having trouble getting food and things. Those townspeople's cries for help come to us. And Libium takes on those requests. Whether it's leaving town to gather items or delivering things or whatever. We call those tasks quests. I see, I see. You guys spend most of your time taking care of those quests. Right, first you'd go to the guild and accept a request. Next you go to talk to the townspeople requested it to do whatever they need you to do. Once you're done, you head back to here, person, to deliver a report. Gotcha. Uh, aside from that, Avalibum is working to free the town from Ganza's oppression. I wonder if we have what it takes. No, we definitely have what it takes. I guess we better do our best then. I'm brooding for you. The World Tree's manner is meant for everyone. If we don't do something to stop the Devourer, there'll be no future for any of us. Try your best to become a full member of Ablibium. Once you do, you'll be able to change the uh, change jobs of the guild and recruit allies to join you at the inn. Rain is one who will be instructing you to the quests in this town. Can I get trousers? Correct! I'll handle all registration, but why don't you take a look around town first? There are other members of Avidlibium you'll want to meet. Young my younger brother is one of them. His name is Genus, and I'm sure he'll help you out if you have any trouble. In any case, go meet and greet. Surely the world can wait until you're, uh, you've seen everyone. Alright, with the help of Adlibium, we may be able to defeat the Devourer. Alright, let's do this. I have acquired the title of Apprentice. I don't know who's Apprentice, but I have that. CSK! We're outnumbered. If they put up wanted posters, we could have the whole town hunting for us. So, you have any brilliant ideas? Let's hide here. Like hell, these are my favorite shoes. I'm not gonna ruin them. <sighs> Do as you please. Just don't expect me to help you when you get arrested. Ah, what's your problem? Fine, you want me to hide, I'll hide. Jeez. Where'd they go? Over there. there you go. I can't see with this stupid helmet on. Mm, I can't see them. There you go. Guys, where'd you go? Looks like they've gone. Oh, hello there. Hello. Hello. Come on, let's go. What a weird pair. It looked like they were being chased. Yeah, I gathered that. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Um, if you could come and check out some of the other videos on my channel, that would be really nice. Really help me out.
Uh, if you want to click the like, click the bell, click subscribe, do all the things on YouTube that people always suggest. Uh, so if you could do that, please, please consider it. Thank you!